Hello and welcome to Back to the Science. I'm Dr. Susan Oliver and I'm a scientist. And before I start this video, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has left kind words about Julie. I still can't quite believe she's gone as she was only three, but reading all your messages of support has provided me with some degree of comfort and it has made it just a little bit easier. And I will have a little clip at the end of when Julie first decided she wanted to be in my videos. Anyway, this is just a quick video because someone has drawn my attention to a major piece of misinformation that was shown today on Dr. John Campbell's channel. It is a video made by a lady called Jessica from Australia who admits she is not a statistician or a healthcare professional, but puts together a video about statistics she doesn't understand anyway. Now, I won't go through the whole video because it's basically just saying the same thing again and again in different ways, but this graph is typical of the point she's trying to make. The graph shows Australian deaths by week. The blue line is deaths in 2021, the red line is deaths in 2020, and the green line is the average deaths for 2015 to 2019. And as you can see, in some parts of the year, the blue line is highest, meaning at those times there were more deaths in 2021. Jessica then goes on to point out that most people in Australia were vaccinated for COVID in 2021. Do, 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 do. Jessica then suggests that more knowledgeable people than her should investigate these excess deaths. And John concurs. Well, here's the thing. There are no excess deaths. So there is nothing to investigate. In fact, the death rate for both 2020 and 2021 is below the five-year average. When looking at deaths, you can't just look at absolute numbers. You need to look at the death rate because Australia has a growing population. Our population is getting bigger. And furthermore, you need to standardise deaths by age because Australia also has an ageing population. And when you do that, you get this graph here, which shows the age standardised death rate in deaths per 100,000 people. As you can see, the green line, which is the average death rate from 2015 to 2019, is highest for most of the year. So there are no excess deaths whatsoever. And the reason for the lower death rates in 2020 and 2021 is most likely the measures that were put in place to reduce the spread of COVID also reduced other infectious diseases. Now, to be fair to Jessica, she doesn't have any expertise in the area. So it's easy to understand how she has made a basic statistics mistake. But I am surprised that someone like John, who has been presenting statistics for the last two years, didn't pick it up. I picked up the mistake immediately. I am particularly concerned that she mentions at the start of her segment that John invited her to present it. If you'd like to take a closer look at the numbers yourself, I'll provide a link in the video's description. And you'll see that there's actually a, you can download all the spreadsheets there. And the spreadsheet where I got the information for my graph is actually the same spreadsheet that Jessica used for her graph. So it was actually just a separate tab of the same spreadsheet. Anyway, please remember this video is about the science, but you shouldn't take it as medical advice. For that, you should speak to your medical practitioner. Thank you for listening. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button so that more people will see it. And if you'd like to see more videos about the science in the future, please hit the subscribe button. And finally, here's a clip from Julie's original video debut, which incidentally aired on John Campbell's channel before I had my own channel. I was thinking I wouldn't be doing an update today because there wasn't really a lot happening. But then suddenly there was. And um, Julie, um, that's Julie, my dog, by the way. Now, last, last week I spoke too soon when I said it looked like the two local cases that we'd had in Australia were, were now under control.